Hello Africa, you welcome to a new season of Health Africa where we'll be focusing on raising awareness about bone diseases. This discussion is brought to you by the Association of African Universities and you can follow this discussion on our social media handles at Association of African Universities on Facebook and YouTube and AAUTV underscore African Universities on Twitter. We are going to talk about the diagnosis and treatment of arthritis. Let me use myself as an example. Let's say I feel a pain here and I can't stretch my hands properly. When I come to you, what method are you going to use to diagnose me? Right, okay. Interesting question. Eh? The idea with making a diagnosis in medicine, and this is a general principle, is that you're managing a patient. So the diagnosis comes with a history. Okay. So you have to say what is bothering you. Okay. And we will look at the different components of it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll proceed on to a physical examination. And in this case, we are looking, we'll be looking at examining the, your joints. And sometimes we need to look at other places which are not necessarily related to your joints. So if you first use the instance of pain in your elbow, you might want to examine your neck because that is a common pain generator mm -hmm. that can give you referred pain in there. Mm -hmm. And then we, when we've made up our mind that there is a fair likelihood that the trouble is in your elbow, we are likely mm -hmm. to get some form of imaging. And typically the, what we would start with is an x-ray and sometimes we move on to other forms of imaging, mm -hmm. either different scans, a CT scan or an MRI or whatever and that would help us make the, the diagnosis. diagnosis yes right so after diagnosing me how are you going to treat what are the available treatments for so for, for for arthritis arthritis the the treatment of arthritis basically can be looked at in two different components okay. there is the surgical treatment and there's the non-surgical treatment okay. the non-surgical treatment applies to everybody and the non-surgical treatment includes things like modifying your lifestyle, mm. uh, modifying your home environment or your work environment, and then offering you some forms of exercise and physical therapy, okay. and sometimes offering you some medications, and there are different kinds of medications. And then we can also offer you surgery, and surgery tends to be for people who tend to have more severe problems uh, most of the time or people who have had who have really badly destroyed joints that you can salvage them but sometimes it is also to look at people who have who do not have so much of a badly destroyed joint but they cannot tolerate the different mm -hmm. types of non-medical treatments mm -hmm. that we would offer mm -hmm. The thing about arthritis is that it's a quality of life issue and so most of the time we are we tend not to offer the same treatment to the same group of people and within a population you may your what is more important to you may dictate that you may offer you one thing or the other when we are talking about non-operative treatment we talked about lifestyle modification mm -hmm. so assuming somebody has arthritis in her shoulder it's a painful shoulder mm -hmm. she cannot reach onto the top of her cupboard yeah, okay yeah. so we can occupational therapy can offer you a device which would help you to pick things up from the top of your cupboard mm -hmm. if you have arthritis in your hip and you cannot put on your shoe we can get you a long shoe horn to make it easier, easier. for you to do that if you have arthritis in your knee and you get onto your toilet seat it is difficult for you to get off it. So we can have devices in the toilet that you can grab onto and help you get yeah. off the toilet. Yeah. So these are all things that you might want to do or the yeah. other. You find that uh, you might want to go walking around the countryside, but your knee is unstable. So we might offer you a walking stick that you don't go and fall and break your leg okay. or break something else, okay. Okay? okay? So all these are things that you might do to modify your lifestyle. Mm. We might modify your work environment. If you can't go, your work involves you having to uh, go up and down the staircase. We might get you a hoist to take you up the staircase and bring you down. Uh, there are people at home, you can't get into the bathtub. There are devices to help you get into the bathtub and bring okay. you out. Okay, so all these are things that are non-medical, but yes, they can make your life 
much better. Okay. You can rearrange your home okay. such that if you need to get access to something, it is more closer to you. And instead of having to commute a long distance to get it, you can, so all these are things that can be okay. done. We can look at exercise. Okay. The different forms of exercise are involved. The point is that the, your joint is designed for you to move around and it is very distressing to clients when they cannot move. So we do offer exercise and for me, any form of exercise is better than no exercise no at exercise. all. However, different kinds of exercise are more beneficial mm -hmm. than the different kinds. Mm -hmm. So somebody with arthritis, yes, the, if you have exercises which we we'll call impact loading, those exercises will give you more pain. So you find that the Accra is doing the middle marathon, you want to take part in the marathon, run around 20 kilometers in a competitive pace. A person with arthritis, you either can't complete or you're going to be very miserable. <laughs> so I wouldn't encourage you to go and take part in the marathon, <laughs> but I would encourage you to get a bicycle okay. and ride a bicycle right. because that helps you to move your joints mm. without hitting the ground. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you went swimming or if you can't swim, just walk in the pool. That gives you some buoyancy. Yes. It gets you good exercise for your heart. It's good for your psyche but you wouldn't come back and be miserable. Right. So there are different kinds of exercise that we would offer. Okay. We can offer you different medications and there are specific medications and non-specific medications. Okay. The, the non-specific medications usually are the different kinds of pain medication. Some of them can be taken by mouth, some of them can be put on your skin as topical lotions okay. or as sprays, some of them are injections. Mm -hmm. There are different kinds of things. Okay. Bottom line is that arthritis is a quality of life issue and mm. the predominant symptom is pain. Mm. So most of the time you are getting different pain medications from paracetamol all the way to the different medications to help make you better. There are also medications that we can inject into your joint because okay. we said arthritis is a disease of your cartilage mm. and your cartilage is, contains large molecular weight proteins that help you replicate the joint and so we can put that type of Okay. Uh, protein into your joints as a visco supplementation to try to reduce your pain and help you to move around. Arthritis is an inflammatory process, so we may put medication which is an anti inflammatory agent into your joints mm. to bring down your pain. Mm. So these are all non specific things. Okay. But we are saying that arthritis can also be a specific diagnosis. If somebody has rheumatoid arthritis, the person has a part of the body fighting against the part the of the body. Yeah, yeah. So we can give you specific medication that is targeted at that modality to reduce that process. So yes, you will find that there are different monoclonal antibodies, there are cytotoxics, methotrexate, there are different things, sometimes steroids. These are things that a rheumatologist would typically put you on. Mm -hmm. So those are the specific medications yeah. that are involved in there. And then the, we can also offer you surgery. So surgery usually is uh, three types of surgeries okay. for your joints. The joint is painful because it moves, so we can stop it from moving and there is no pain. So that is a fusion. Okay. We can make the two bones stick Join. together as mm -hmm. one bone. You have a limb that is stable and you can walk around on it okay. and there is no pain. Okay? okay? okay. Or else we can... Uh, change the mechanics of your of your joint such that a part of your joint which is healthy now carries more weight and the disease part okay. doesn't carry so much weight right, right. and that is an osteotomy and that gets rid of your pain yeah. and gets you back into what you are doing mm -hmm. or also we can also resurface the whole joint so we give you we literally give you new cartilage new okay. cartilage yes artificial Exactly. <laughs> so your cartilage is damaged, mm -hmm. we can give you a new cartilage. It gets rid of your pain, your knees, your joint is mobile, you can move around and get back to what you are doing okay. and you have no trouble. Okay. Right. right. <coughs> um, now, let's say, maybe, so someone will say, I'm scared, I don't want to see a doctor. Are there other alternative um, treatment? Someone will say, maybe I'll just grind ginger and then put it at where they... Uh, maybe some home remedies for treating arthritis. So the, so the, the idea is that there are different things available. Mm. Uh, it is not my forty. It's <laughs> not something that I really studied on, so I can't yeah. tell you. But yeah. I'll t I'll talk about it generally. Okay. Uh, if you were playing football when you were younger, 
and you hit your foot against a stone mm -hmm. and it's painful you go rubbing it yeah okay yeah, yeah. It is a way of stimulating different nerves in the neighborhood because there are specific nerves that will carry pain yeah. and there are nerves which will carry sensation mm. or pressure. Yeah. Some will carry heat. Mm. So when you stimulate all those nerves in the neighborhood, you, the brain gets confused in interpreting the pain and your pain gets better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So there is a principle behind that and so you can put the different liniments or pepper or whatever it is <laughs> on it to stimulate the cause pain. a mass stimulation mm, of yeah, your nerve. Yeah. It makes your pain go better. Yeah. It doesn't address the underlying issue but yeah. the point is it's a quality of life issue and people will do different things to make them yeah, better. Yeah. So some people will get warm water and put it in a, a towel, apply heat to the area, it makes your pain okay. Some people would rather put cold. Yeah. So these are things that you can do at home yeah. and you don't need a doctor to do okay. that one. Um, <laughs> Looking at the treatments you mentioned, I would like to ask, is uh, are these treatments to cure arthritis forever or is it just to reduce the pain or to take the pain away? So it depends on how you look at it because this is really a philosophical question. Okay. okay. <laughs> now, the idea is that arthritis is because you, is you have a bad cartilage. Mm -hmm. If I've given you new cartilage, is that not a cure? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, it is. so yes. But you can also look at somebody who has inflammatory arthritis mm -hmm. and say that, look, you have gout, you have mm -hmm. hyperuricemia, and we're giving you medication to get rid of your gout. Okay. We've literally cured you. Yeah, yeah. Or we can bring your rheumatoid arthritis under control such that you do not have a flare up and you've not had a flare in the, in okay. the past five years. Mm -hmm. Is that not a cure? <laughs> okay, yeah. so, but remember in medicine, it is not every condition that can be cured. Some conditions we can make it better okay. and some conditions would manage it. The idea is we want to improve your quality of your life so that instead of spending the next 10 years in misery, you can go out and meet your friends and your family mm. and have a chat yeah. and do what is important to you. you. Yeah. <laughs> so um, during my research, I came across some myth about um, arthritis. I know some has been answered, but then I'll read to you so that you try yes. to debunk it. The first myth is um, only older adults develop arthritis. That is uh, absolutely incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> absolutely incorrect. Okay. I told you that there is a condition specifically mm -hmm. juvenile rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. and yes they tend to develop it when they are very young children and i've actually had to do a joint replacement on a 14 year old 14. yes so it's really incorrect yes <laughs> <laughs> the second myth is um if you if your joint hurts it is arthritis no there are several <laughs> other reasons yeah. for it yeah. okay we've talked about a bursa mm -hmm. okay you can have a uh, tumors around the place you can have uh, different conditions around your joint yeah. it is arthritis only refers uh, it's only when you have joint pain pain from the joint from the because of your cartilage, cartilage yeah. bad cartilage, that is arthritis. Yeah. But you can have other conditions as well. Exactly. And people with arthritis should not exercise. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Exercise is indeed one form of treatment, treatment yeah. for arthritis. Yeah. Remember, you are treating the whole person and not the joint. Okay. Mm. Yes. Um, it says um, obesity causes arthritis. Obesity is a risk factor but it's not a cause, a of cause. and then it says arthritis is not preventable not necessarily not necessarily the there are forms of arthritis that can be prevented so we talked about a child who has septic arthritis which mm -hmm. is a bacterial infection of your joints if you diagnose it early and intervene appropriately mm. you can prevent, prevent the it. child mm. from developing arthritis, arthritis. Mm. if you have an accident and it breaks into your joints and you have proper surgery to restore your bone anatomy mm. into what you call an anatomic reduction that is prevention of arthritis mm. <laughs> and then the last but not the least is um weather changes can make arthritis worse weather yes uh, Arthritis pain can be worse in some times of weather. So you find that when it's cold, people with arthritis tend to complain a lot. Yes, so people 
with arthritis, they do not really tolerate the extremes mm. of weather very well. Mm. Now, before we move to the educational segment, I would like to ask, what are some of the preventive measures for arthritis? The preventive measures for arthritis would include keeping your weight in line, okay. uh, optimizing your muscle tone, okay, so that is appropriate exercises within limits, uh, and then the, looking at the different modifications that would help you. So if you decide that your preference is to take long walks, it might be worthwhile to invest in good walking shoes okay. so that you do not get so much impact from it. If your work involves a sedentary life where you have to sit down most of the time, mm -hmm. you should look at the type of chair that you use mm -hmm. and show that it gives you the good support mm -hmm. that you do not put on due strain on your back so you don't develop arthritis in yeah. your back joints. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things that would Definitely. help. Yes. How about eating? Is our eating a habit? So the eating, in terms of the content of what you eat, then your, your question probably might be related to hyperuricemia and gout because that's the clear cut one. There are some people who would have something called the uh, uh, writer syndrome, so they, and then people with the inflammatory bowel disease, certain foods can make their condition worse and yes. some of them can have joint issues, okay. but otherwise, no. Okay. It is mostly a question of overeating and ending up with obesity, obesity. and that is mm. uh, the type of thing. Mm. Yeah. This brings us to the end of today's discussion where we talked about arthritis with Dr. Joseph Ojedu, an orthopedic surgeon at Boss Medical Center. If you just joined us, you can follow the discussion on our social media handles at Association of African Universities of Facebook and YouTube and AAUTV underscore African Universities on Twitter. I am Isabella Teta Ahinakwa, hoping to see you on our next episode.